Are you familiar with that sinking feeling of knowing you have important tasks to complete, yet finding yourself endlessly scrolling through social media or getting lost in the depths of YouTube instead? Welcome to the club. Turn off your screen and go do what you need to do. Yes, what you're thinking of right now. Go do it. Stop putting things off until tomorrow. Otherwise, well, you'll never end up doing them. Or you can listen to this video to understand and recognize procrastination, setting clear goals and priorities, learn practical strategies, and cultivate productive habits. Procrastination isn't just about laziness. It's a complex interplay of psychology, habits, and environment that can derail even the most motivated individuals. In this video, I'm sharing five powerful steps to help you break free from the grips of procrastination and skyrocket your productivity. Step one, understanding procrastination. Procrastination isn't merely a lack of willpower. It's a complex behavior rooted in psychology. At its core, procrastination is the act of delaying or postponing tasks despite knowing that doing so may have negative consequences. It's not about being lazy or unproductive. Rather, it's often a coping mechanism for dealing with uncomfortable emotions such as fear of failure, anxiety, or overwhelm. Think about the last time you procrastinated. What emotions were you experiencing? Perhaps it was the fear of not meeting expectations or the anxiety of facing a challenging task. By understanding the underlying emotions driving procrastination, we can begin to address them head on. Studies show that procrastination is often linked to our brain's reward system. When we procrastinate, we're prioritizing short-term pleasure, like scrolling through social media over long-term goals, leading to a vicious cycle of guilt and stress. If you find yourself procrastinating frequently, know that you're not alone and there's nothing inherently wrong with you. It's simply a behavior that we can learn to manage and overcome. Step two, recognizing procrastination patterns. Procrastination often disguises itself in different forms, making it crucial to recognize its sneaky patterns before we tackle them head on. Take a moment to reflect on your recent procrastination episodes. What tasks did you avoid and why? Did you notice any reoccurring patterns or triggers? Maybe you tend to procrastinate when faced with a daunting project, or perhaps you find yourself easily distracted when working from home. By identifying these patterns, we can develop targeted strategies to counteract them. Here's a helpful exercise. Grab a pen and paper and jot down your most common procrastination triggers. Are they related to certain tasks, environments, or emotions? Understanding your personal triggers is the first step towards reclaiming control over your time and productivity. For example, if you often procrastinate when faced with a large project, try breaking it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Or if your smartphone is a constant source of distraction, consider implementing digital detox periods during focused work sessions. Awareness is key. The more you understand your procrastination patterns, the better equipped you'll be to overcome them. Step three, setting clear goals and priorities. Setting goals provides us with direction and purpose, helping us stay focused and motivated even when faced with distractions. One effective framework for goal setting is the SMART criteria, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Let's break it down a bit more. Specific, define your goals with clarity and precision. Instead of saying, I want to exercise more, try, I will jog for 30 minutes three times a week. Measurable, Establish concrete metrics to track your progress. How will you know when you achieved your goal? Set measurable targets like lose 10 pounds or increase sales by 20%. Achievable. Ensure that your goals are realistic and within your capabilities. While it's great to aim high, setting unattainable goals can lead to frustration and demotivation. Relevant. Align your goals with your values and long-term objectives. Ask yourself, does this goal contribute to my overall vision and aspirations? Time bound. Set deadlines to create a sense of urgency and accountability. Break down larger goals into smaller, time bound milestones to track your progress more effectively. Whether it's advancing in your career, improving your health, or mastering a new skill, applying the SMART criteria can turn vague aspirations into actionable plans for success. Setting clear goals isn't just about what you want to achieve. It's about creating a roadmap to get there. Step four, overcoming procrastination, practical strategies. Procrastination often thrives on inertia, but with the right strategies, we can kickstart our momentum and keep it going strong. Let's explore some proven methods. 
Number one, break tasks into smaller chunks. Overwhelm is a common trigger for procrastination. Break large tasks into smaller ones, more manageable chunks to make them feel less daunting. Number two, time blocking. Allocate specific blocks of time for focused work on particular tasks. Use tools like calendars or apps to schedule dedicated work sessions, minimizing distractions. Number three, two minute rule. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, do it immediately. This simple rule helps prevent small tasks from snowballing into larger ones. Number four, Pomodoro technique. Work in focused intervals, typically 25 minutes, followed by a short break. Repeat this cycle to maintain productivity while allowing for regular rest. Number five, accountability partners or tools. Enlist the support of a friend, colleague, or accountability buddy to help keep you on track. Alternatively, use apps or platforms designed to track progress and provide accountability. Experiment with these strategies to find what works best for you. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small, and don't be discouraged by setbacks. With consistency and determination, you'll gradually build momentum and conquer procrastination once and for all. If you're still watching the video, the next time you hear the word habits, write habits in the comments to let me know you haven't turned off your screen yet and are procrastinating. Come on, do what you have to do before you hear the word habits. Step 5. Cultivating Productive Habits Productivity isn't just about getting things done. It's about optimizing our routines and behaviors to maximize our efficiency and well-being. Let's explore some powerful habits. Too late, you heard the word habits for the second time, so you have to write it in the comments. Some powerful habits that can supercharge your productivity. Number one, regular exercise. Physical activity isn't just beneficial for our bodies. It also has a profound impact on our mental clarity and focus. Incorporate regular exercise into your routine to boost energy levels and sharpen cognitive function. Number two, mindfulness practices. Take time each day to cultivate mindfulness through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply being present in the moment. Mindfulness reduces stress, enhances concentration, and fosters a greater sense of awareness. Number three, effective time management. Prioritize tasks based on their importance and deadlines, using techniques like the Eisenhower Matrix or the Ivy Lee Method to make the most of your time. Set boundaries to protect your time and avoid overcommitting. Number four, continuous learning. Commit to lifelong learning and personal development by dedicating time to acquire new skills and expanding your knowledge and challenge yourself intellectually. Embrace a growth mindset and seek opportunities for growth and improvement. Number five, self-care rituals. Make self-care a non-negotiable part of your daily routine. Whether it's practicing gratitude, indulging in a hobby, or spending quality time with your loved ones, prioritize activities that nourish your mind, body, and soul. Cultivating productivity habits isn't about adding more tasks to your to-do list. It's about intentionally designing your lifestyle to support your goals and well-being. Consistency is key. Start small, stay committed, and gradually build upon your habits over time. Overcoming procrastination isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing commitment to prioritizing your goals, managing your time effectively, and cultivating habits that support your success. Take that first step, embrace the process, and trust in your ability to overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. You have everything you need to create the life you desire. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You'll find more tips, ideas, and inspiration on personal development and productivity. If you found value in today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Embrace each moment with purpose, for in the pursuit of overcoming procrastination lies the gateway to realizing your dreams and unlocking the extraordinary life you've always envisioned. Until next time, stay focused, stay driven, and remember, your future self will thank you for the actions you take today. Become you.